Hi, I'm Jimmy Petruzzi, NLP Center of Excellence Trainer and High Performance Coach. Welcome to this Mind Reprogramming Audio to help you stay focused, motivated, positive and work towards the goals and outcomes you want in your life. I have many years experience working with business, sports people, people in general who are looking to enhance their performance, overcome limiting beliefs, obstacle fears, phobias, addictions, generally help people get the best at themselves and the best they can be. In life, there are certain times we find ourselves in a crossroads, not knowing which path to take. Just like driving on a road and moving towards a roundabout. A slight diversion can lead us to a new destination. The same applies in life. Consider our mind being just like a sat-nav. Not many people know how sat-nav technically works, though most people can program it. The three most important things are knowing where you are, the destination of where you want to go, and the address. Without the address and destination, the sat-nav is not going to be of any use to you. And the same applies to the mind. In the following program, you are the master of your own destiny. You decide where you want to go. Consider this process to be like a postcode to a sat-nav. It will help you work towards where you want to be. Of course, you're not accountable to do anything you don't want to do, and in the end, you're always in complete control. I'm only sharing this process as a gift as one of my ambitions in life is to help as many people as possible achieve their goals. As for any goal, it is you that holds the key and has to take full responsibility in getting there. Though, after many years of experience of working the world's best in their field, success leaves clues. And I have, after many years, formulated the following process, which I'm sure you will find of benefit. I have created this mind programming audio where you can take it all in and relax, remembering you are in complete control and can come out of the process anytime you wish. Just a quick note, please do not listen to this audio if you're driving or operating machinery. Find a safe and comfortable place, sit back or lie down, relax and let the journey commence. You can listen to this audio as often as you would like. Have you ever wondered how do the world's most prolific artists, business people, thinkers and inventors get the inspiration for ideas? creations and achievements? Was it their upbringing? Are they just really lucky? Were they blessed with a gift that most of us can only dream of? Or is there something else at work? Think of the unconscious mind as the storage room of everything that is currently not in your conscious mind. The subconscious mind stores all of your previous experiences, your beliefs, your memories, your skills, all situations you've been through and all images you've ever seen. The best way to understand the subconscious mind is to think about the first time you learned to drive a car. At the beginning, you would struggle to hold a conversation with anyone while you were driving as you would be focused on the different moves involved. That's because you would have been predominantly still using your conscious mind to drive. Now, when you drive, you jump in the car, and particularly when you've been to a destination before, you barely notice the time that's gone by. You may be speaking to a friend, listening to music, thinking about work, driving an autopilot. The functions of the subconscious mind. Your heart will beat 100,000 times in a day. You breathe, your hair grows, when you feel hungry, your emotions, your habits, all the automatic bodily functions that happen outside your conscious awareness. We also attract conditions and circumstances to us that are predominant four patterns that reside within the subconscious mind. So let your subconscious mind do the work. Just relax and let your mind wander. They say the subconscious mind is a million times more powerful than the conscience. Remember, you're in complete control and not accountable to anything you don't want to do. So find a comfortable position and relax. So you need to be sitting or lying somewhere comfortable where you won't be interrupted. And you can start to settle in a nice, comfortable way and allow yourself to begin to appreciate the possibility that you can relax deeply and calmly and just let your eyes gently close and relax. Imagine emptying your thoughts into a bin liner and you can pick them up in half an hour or so if you wish. However, for now, just relax and release any negative energy outside the soles of your feet. 
Let your mind take a vacation away from your usual thoughts and feelings. Seeing them get more distant as you relax. Just let yourself go. In a moment, I'm going to begin to relax you even further. I'm going to count backwards from 10 to 1. The moment I say number 10, you will allow your eyelids to remain closed and completely relax. So just breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, begin to relax. The moment I say 10, you will in your mind's eye see yourself at the top of a small staircase. As I say the number 9 and each additional number, you will simply move down those stairs relaxing more completely. At the bottom of the stairs is a door which you will open. Beyond the door is a time and place you will completely relax and at peace with the world. The moment I say the number one, you can open the door and transport yourself in your mind's eye to that time and place you felt really relaxed, calm and at peace with the world. Notice what you saw, heard and felt. Fully re relive the moment like it's happening in the here and now. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth comfortably. 10. At the top of the stairs, you're relaxing and letting go. 9. Becoming relaxed, more calm. 8. Sinking into a more comfortable, peaceful and relaxed position as you continue to go deeper and deeper relaxed. Deeper and deeper relaxed. 7. You can feel your feet landing on the stairs. Your breathing slows down. Your heartbeat slows down. 6. That's fine, you're doing perfectly moving towards the door. Five. Four. Three. Just releasing any tension from your neck muscles. Two. Releasing the tension from your back shoulders and legs. One, releasing all the tension from every muscle and cell in your body. And open the door and transport yourself in your mind's eye to that time and place you felt really relaxed, calm and at peace with the world. Notice what you saw, heard and felt. Fully relive the moment like it's happening in the here and now. If you can't think of an experience, just let your mind wander and imagine what it would be like to feel relaxed, calm, and at peace with the world. What would you see, hear, and feel? And fully enjoy the experience like it's happening in the here and now. Just let yourself go. Notice the colors the sounds, the feelings, and let those feelings magnify for every cell of your body and muscle. Breathing in and breathing out, really relaxed and calm. Feeling at peace with the world. And I'm gonna pause slightly and let you enjoy the experience. I want you now to think about all the things you're grateful for. 
Look at who you are and how far you've come. Who would you like to give thanks to? What are you grateful for? Think about your family, your friends, colleagues. Each of them play a special role in your life. What are you grateful to each of them for? Helping you become the person you are today. The amazing person you are today. You're one in however many billion in the world today. Unique. And the many million and billion who've gone and come before and who will come and go after us. You are unique. You are amazing. You are special. And everybody who's ever come into your life has helped you become the person you are today. So what are you grateful for and who are you grateful to? What experiences have you had in your life? What are you grateful about of each of the experiences that you've had? Your senses. Food. Being alive. Imagine if you were to swap bodies with a random person. What would you miss? What would you want back? What is it about you that you would miss if you were somebody else? And take note of all the things you're grateful for. And begin to look at yourself through the eyes of love. Look at yourself through the eyes of people who love you, respect you and admire you. And immerse yourself with that powerful emotion of love. Now begin to think of your life's purpose. What is your life's purpose? And I'm going to give you a moment to think about that. What are you here for? What are you on the planet for? Remember, for a GPS to work, it needs to identify where you are and your desired destination. From there, it maps out the best route to get there. If it can't locate where you are right now, it can't recommend the route to get to. So similarly, when it comes to personal growth, you need a starting point. How you are doing right now. Without knowing this, whatever you do will be broad, untargeted actions that bring minimal change. So let's take a moment to assess your life. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high, how are you performing in the area of business and career? Are you achieving what you want? Are you achieving your best? your finance and wealth, your income, your savings. Are they where you want them to be on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being high? What score would you give yourself? Your health and fitness. How healthy are you? Do you have a healthy lifestyle? Do you get enough sleep, rest? Are you eating healthfully? Do you exercise regularly? On a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being high, where would you say you are?
your social and friends? Do you have a social circle you like? Friends to hang out with, talk to, confide in, have fun with? Do you have deep connections with these friends? Are you meeting new people? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high, where would you say you are? Your family. How are your relationships with your family members? Your relatives? Do you talk with them often? Are you able to communicate openly with them? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high, where would you say you are? Love. How much love do you feel in your life right now? Love refers to universal love and not necessarily romantic love. It's possible for someone who is single to rate highly in this area, just as it is possible for someone who is attached to rate lowly on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high. Where would you say you are? Recreation and fun. How much fun are you having in your life at the moment? On a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being high. Contribution. Are you giving back to society and the world? On a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being high. Give yourself a mark. personal growth. Are you growing? Are you achieving your highest potential? Are you being the best you can be? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high, give yourself a grade. Spirituality. How in tuned are you with the universe and your higher self? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high, give yourself a mark. Self image. Do you respect yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you believe in your abilities? Do you value what you do? Do you appreciate yourself? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high, give yourself a mark. What if you have to stick with these scores forever? How would you feel? Is this what you want? The first step toward getting somewhere is to first decide that you don't want to stay where you are. The bigger your dissatisfaction, the better. Because this is going to give you the impetus for growth. What are your biggest priorities moving forward as you work towards a 10 out of 10 life? What are your biggest actions that will help you achieve your goals? If you could not fail, what would you do if you could never ever fail? What would you do if you had unlimited resources, time and networks? Would you be a writer, writing best-selling books on things you are passionate about? A journalist traveling around the world reporting the latest news? A musician writing and producing music full-time? A singer touring the world, singing to large audiences? A chef running your restaurant and serving the best dishes in the world? A fashion designer running your own fashion boutique with your top designs. A humanitarian advocating human rights, peace and helping others to live better lives. 
a world-renowned artist channeling creativity through your works of art. An international film director producing award-winning films aired around the world. A principal running your own school dedicated to a cause you believe in. A free spirit travelling the world exploring every nook and cranny. The owner of a multi-million pound business. What would you do? Who would you be? What would you do if you could never ever fail? What would you do if you had unlimited resources? What would the biggest goals and dreams that you would see yourself fulfilling? What is your ideal life like? What would you have? Who would you be? What is a life you can look at and say, this is truly the best life I can ever live? What would you be doing business and career wise? What achievements and results would you be achieving? How big would your business and career be? If you have a business, is it local? International? Multinational? What about your finance and wealth? How much money would you be earning? What property would you be living in? What would your material possessions be like? Your clothes, your car? Your health and fitness? How would your fitness level be? How would you look? What would your diet be like? What would be the status of your health? Your weight, size, clothes? Your social and friends? How would your social circle be? Your proximity? What kinds of friends would you be surrounded with? your family what would your relationship with your family be like how much time would you like to spend together what would you be doing with them love what would your ideal love life be like recreation and fun what would you do for recreation? What hobbies would you be pursuing? Contribution. What would you be doing as a contribution to society? How would you be giving back to the world? Personal growth. How would you be pursuing your growth? What would you be learning? Spiritual. How spiritually aware would you be? How would you be pursuing your spiritual interest? Your self image. How would you see yourself? What are your biggest goals and dreams? What do you want to see in person? What achievements do you want to accomplish? 
What experiences do you want to have or feel? Are there any special moments you want to witness? What activities or skills do you want to learn or try out? What are the most important things you can ever do? Anything that you want to say to certain people, people you love, your family, your friends? Any specific people you want to meet in person? What do you want to achieve in different areas? Social, love, family, career, business, finance, health, weight, spiritual contribution, personal growth, self-image. What do you need to do to lead a life of great meaning? Come up with as many items as you can. A list of everything that you want to achieve, do, see, feel and experience in your life. Begin to think about the items on the list you most want to achieve now. What key actions can you take to start achieving them? Let your unconscious mind navigate its way towards the outcomes you want. Now imagine it's six months from now. Think about how you envision yourself to be. What kind of person will you be? What goals will you have accomplished by then? How will you be doing in different areas of your life? Your career business? How will your career status be? Will you have started the business? What will you be doing for your business? How will your business be doing? Your finances and wealth. How will your finances be in six months? How much will you be earning and saving? Your health and fitness. What kind of lifestyle will you be leading? How will your diet be? What kind of exercise regime will you have? What will your fitness condition be? Family. How will your relationships with your family be? Friends. How will your social circle be? How will your relationships with your family be? Who will you be closest with? love how will your love life be what will you see hear and feel recreation what will you be doing for recreation what hobbies and interests will you be pursuing will you be having fun how will you be contributing to society and the world at large your personal growth. How will you be pursuing your personal growth then? What kind of person will you have grown into? Spirituality. How will your connection with the world and higher self be? Self-image. What will your self-image be like? What are some of the goals you'd like to have accomplished? and your personality. What will you be like? Smart, witty, upbeat, charismatic? What proximity will you be around? Your environment. What kind of places will you have gone to and be living in? And what will your daily routine be like on a regular basis? 
What are some of the things that you'll be doing daily? Now imagine it's one year from now. What kind of person will you be? What goals will you have accomplished by then? How will you be doing in different areas of your life? Your career, business? How will your career status be? Will you have started the business? What will you be doing for your business? How will your business be doing? Your finances and wealth. How will your finances be then? How much will you be earning? How much will your savings be? How much will you be saving? Your health and fitness. What kind of lifestyle will you be leading? How will your diet be? What kind of exercise regime will you be living? What will your fitness condition be? Family. How will your relationships with your family members be? Friends. How will your social circle be? How will your relations with your friends be? Who will you be closest with? Love. How do you want the love department of your life to be? Recreation. What will you be doing for recreation? What hobbies and interests will you be pursuing? Will you be having fun in your life? Contribution. How will you be contributing to society and the world at large? Personal growth. How will you be pursuing your personal growth? What person or what kind of person will you have grown into? Spirituality. How will your connection with the world and your higher self be? Your self-image. What will your self-image be like? What goals will you have completed? Personality. What kind of person will you be like? Witty, positive, upbeat, confident, charismatic? Your proximity, your friends, people you spend time with, your environment that you're living in. What will you have been? And your daily routine. What would that be like on a daily basis? What will you be like daily? What will you be doing? Your habits, the places you go, the things you do. Now it's three years from now. What kind of a person will you be? What goals will you have accomplished? How will you be doing in different areas of your life? Your career? How will your career status be? Will you have started your business? What will you be doing for your business? How will your business be doing? Your finances and wealth. How will your finances be then? How much will you be earning? How much will your savings be? Your health and fitness. What kind of lifestyle will you be leading? How will your diet be? What kind of exercise regime will you be having? What will your fitness condition be? Family. How will your relationships with your family be? Friends. How will your social circle be? How will your relationships with your friends be? Who will you be closest with? Love. How do you want the love department of your life to be? Recreation. What will you be doing for recreation? What hobbies and interests will you be pursuing? Will you be having fun in your life? 
contribution. How will you be contributing to society and the world at large? Personal growth. How will you be pursuing your personal growth? What kind of person will you have grown into? Spirituality. How will your connection with the world and your higher self be? Your self-image. What will your self-image be like? What goals will you have achieved? Your personality. What kind of person? Are you smart, witty, positive, upbeat, confident, charismatic? Socially. What will your friends be like? Who will you spend time with? The environment. What kind of place will you be living? What places will you go? What places will you have been? And your daily routine. What will you be doing on a regular basis? Now imagine it's five years from now. What kind of person will you be? What goals will you accomplish by then? How will you be doing in the different areas of your life? Career. How will your career status be? Will you have started your business? What will you be doing for your business? How will your business be doing? Is it national, international, multinational? Your finances and wealth. How will your finances be then? How much will you be earning? How much will your savings be? How much will you be saving? Your health and fitness. What kind of lifestyle will you be leading? How will your diet be? What kind of exercise regime will you be having? What will your fitness condition be? Your family. How will your relationships with your family members be? Your friends. How will your social circle be? How will your relationships with your friends be? Who will you be closest with? love how do you want the love department in your life to be recreation what will you be doing for recreation what hobbies and interests will you be pursuing will you be having fun in your life contribution how will you be contributing to society and the world at large personal growth how will you be pursuing your personal growth then what kind of person will you have grown into spirituality how will your connection with the world and your higher self be your self image what will your self image be like what goals will you have achieved your personality. Are you smart, witty, positive, upbeat, charismatic? Proximity around you, the type of friends you're with and spend time with, the environment, the place you're living, the places you've been, the places you go, and your daily routine, what you do on a daily basis. Now I want you to think as far as you feel comfortable with as far in the future as you feel comfortable with. Think of the goals you'll achieve, the type of person you'll be, how you'll be doing in different areas of your life. Your career, your business, your finance and wealth. 
your health and fitness, family, friends, love, recreation, contribution, personal growth, spirituality, self-image, personality, social group, environment, daily routine, Let your unconscious mind process all the information in its own time and pace. And you can rest assured the unconscious mind is benevolent and there to serve you and only wants good for you. and trust in the power of your unconscious mind. Remembering that our thoughts become our reality. And if you feel slightly unsure about certain areas of your life, that's fine too. You might even feel slightly confused, which is a good place to be, because after confusion comes clarity Trust in the unconscious mind to work things out in its own time and pace. You can relax and rest assured your unconscious mind will navigate you to where you want to be. You may have struggled to process some of the questions on a conscious level Yet, that's perfectly normal and natural, as the conscious mind tries to see logic and rationalize. Trust in the power of the imagination of the unconscious mind, knowing that your mind is as powerful as any of the great minds that have gone and come before us. You're the most powerful resource and you've taken a big step by doing this process in tapping into that resource. So you can feel confident and assured the mind will process things in its own time and its own pace. And maybe you might be thinking now that some of the questions were a little bit fast for you to process. And that's good too. Because as I mentioned, the conscious mind tries to make sense of things and rationalize and see logic in every situation. And think of the greatest inventions that we have in the day and age that we live in. All the great inventions are a product of the unconscious mind. The planes we fly in, our phones, our TVs, our cars, our technological advancements, all oh, the power of the imagination of the unconscious mind. Sometimes, if we overanalyze and overthink, the logic we see in certain situations could potentially stop us and stop the power of the unconscious mind producing the results we want. So trust in your unconscious mind and shortly I'm going to count back from 5 to 1. As I count back from 5 to 1 I want to gradually come back in the here and now, in your own time, in your own pace. Bringing back any learnings. Five. Gradually coming back. Four. Three. Bringing back any learnings or any steps 
you might want to take towards achieving your goals and the life you want. Coming back in your own time, in your own pace, fully refreshed, recharged and revitalized. Coming back to one. Coming back to the here and now. Congratulations and well done.